Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. All those who already have, thank you. If you would like a personal reading or a cord cutting, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to join a book club for woke individuals, you can do that by hitting the more button below and following the link to our Facebook group. The first meeting will be on April 11th. The book will be provided on audio for those who are not big readers and it is all about spiritual and personal growth, learning new manifestation techniques as well as more about our bodies, trauma, um, anything personal growth, anything to help us live our very best life, as well as fellowship. If you would like to enter to win $200 drawn on the 31st, you can do that by hitting the more button below and liking, subscribing to all YouTube channels linked in the description, as well as commenting blessing. I will be drawing it and PayPal cash app is necessary. It will be announced on the first. Well, I hope you're all doing well, Bob and high, living your best life. We are going to have the best week of our life. This is the Daily Tarot and this is a timeless message, Scorp. It is whenever you are receiving it, but if you're watching it today, Monday morning, baby, we are going to have a blessed week. Blessings are coming in. This is going to be the best week of my life here in PA. I'm going to live the best week of my life out, Scorpio. Join me, please. The bees, the stork, and the house. Some of you may be um, doing things around your house to improve it, painting, getting new bedding, redecorating, bringing in some fresh new energy. If you haven't, you may want to. If you feel stuck, changing some things up in your home, bringing in fresh flowers, new plants, etc. can help raise the vibration. Put some bells out in front of your door. Salt the door, Scorpio. Bat, really mop with cinnamon. Today is the 25th. It is the full moon moon eclipse, the lunar eclipse. We are, um, everything is coming to a head that started in October of 2023. So you may want to look back and, and ask yourself where you were in October of 2023, because the chain of events that started with that new moon eclipse is all coming to a head with this full moon eclipse. And we're starting brand new energy. We are moving into eclipse season a lot of newness, a lot of improvements. There could be news of a pregnancy within your family, a cousin, uh, a child. You could be becoming a grandparent. Oh, God help me, it's not me. <laughs> a lot of um, newness and improvements to come. Some dedicated here to something. You're about to receive some sweet results. You may be going to court for child support matters. You could be 40 or turning 40 this year, Scorpio. You could have a hearing coming up for finances regarding somebody within your family, and you will receive some sweet results. It seems like you're trying to get along with somebody you are either co-parenting with or a parent, a sibling. You are trying to cooperate the best you can. A Virgo, an Aries, or a Taurus could be important to you. Those times may be very important to you and your journey. The overall energy, number 10, journey. On a journey here of spiritual development, personal growth for some, on a journey of self-discovery, you could be going through a dark night of the soul. Some of you are um, looking to travel at, like me. I've actually booked myself out a few 
a few times throughout the, the summer here. I'm going to plan some trips. I don't have anything planned right now besides I'm taking my babies and my mama. She just let me uh, know that she could go. We are taking my oldest daughter to the Poconos to a day spa for her birthday in May. So that will be exciting. My baby girl is a Taurus blessing in disguise and shower of abundance to heal your financial situation first give it to us your worries and concerning money we will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance as we work together your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow changing your mindset having an abundance mindset money flows to me easily and effortlessly now god is my provider more money less hours that is what i say daily when i sit down to say my daily affirmations money comes to me easily and effortlessly now i attract money god is my provider i am always provided for god will always provide for me get on that time scorpio if you can't change anything right now change the way you look at money start reprogramming your subconscious you could be dealing with blocks some of you 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 hit a money ceiling or you, you constantly think every, every time you get ahead, something happens. And every time you get ahead, something does happen. I, I've told you this before, but I, I looked back when I started to study energy and vibration and thought, my God, I am a really good manifester because I thought everything was going to go wrong and everything went wrong. I thought, you know, I was constantly worried and I always had something to worry about. I realized how strong of a manifester I actually was because my life sucked so bad. Some of you may want to look around you. Are you constantly thinking something's going to happen and something always does? If that's the case, change it around. Just changing your mindset around and putting in some hard work and dedication could change everything for you, Scorpio. What appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind the present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. <clears throat> Blessing in disguise. Some of you are in the middle of a situation that you feel really wronged, sad, lonely. You feel abandoned. You feel as if um, you've been forced to journey into the unknown by yourself on your own. But Scorpio, this is a blessing in disguise. Some of you have lost a job that you didn't even really like anyway. A lover left you that didn't really make you that happy anyway. And it is a blessing in disguise. Ask yourself today, what is the truth? What is the truth about that job I'm over romanticizing because now my subconscious mind is just remembering all the good things. What is the truth about that lover that is no longer in my life? Were they even treating me right? Was this even going the way I wanted it to go? Most likely the answer is no. Door to personal healing and happiness and a magician in the mirror. Number 53 and number 34. You could be 53, you could be 35, 43, 34. Something could happen in the next 34 to 53 days. But Scorpio, you are the creator of your own world. If you are looking around right now and you do not like what you see, sweetheart, it is time to change this. I have people say it all the time, do it all the time. Oh, the more, the more grateful I am or the more happy I am, the more problems that come in, then there's clearly something subconscious because it's not just me. Many, many, many thousands and thousands of studies show that what you think about comes about. 
It's called the reticular activating system. And let me ask you something. Do you ever buy a car and then suddenly all around you, you just see that car everywhere or you start talking about a subject and then it's like everywhere you go, you see this or you hear other people talking about that? That's because of the reticular activating system, Scorpio. What you think about comes about. And so being the magician here of your life, you have all the tools. You have everything it takes, sweetheart. You are walking through the door of personal healing and happiness very, very soon. The doors are open. You just have to step in now. This card upright reps, represents a culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is a flame of passion and action. In the right hand is a vortex of water and light. This, this highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit, clarity, and thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together, they give you a magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future of mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. An important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns metal into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and, it's, and the midst of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Scorpio, who do you want to be now? What do you want? Do you want to lay down... And, and and just give up and and let that lover win that you know person who's victimized you do you want to just lay down and take it or do you want to stand up and fight now you have the power you do with your thoughts with your good decisions to change it all around today today is the first day of the rest of your life Scorpio Every single day is a new day to get it right. Whatever happened yesterday happened. It's over now. Now is the only moment that matters. This card is a <clears throat> positive change. This card is positive change. The beauty, the beautiful light filled the door into open, lush, rainbow, spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction, or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live, this card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The change you have been working on already are ready to blossom into wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through and continued action with optimistic expectations. Scorpio, Scorpio, so beautiful. Oh, I claim spirit. I would claim this reading if I was you because my goodness, you are going on a journey, love. And all of the good decisions and choices that you've been making are about to come together. Every good decision that you have made up until now is about to bear fruit, Scorpio. If you haven't started a personal healing journey, you may want to start doing some shadow work, working on 
on that inner turmoil, working on retraining your subconscious mind, though that predictive programming. Get out of a lack mindset. Get into a millionaire's mindset, baby, because the door to personal healing and happiness is about to open for you. And it all it is going to come full circle. Moving into what is coming into the future, and we have pathway, again, number 35. Something may happen in the next 35 days. There's something new, a pathway opening up for you. Some of you may be thinking about going hiking, going camping, something like this um, as well. But what's really standing out to me is the butterflies on this card, Scorpio. You're just in the cocoon right now, and you are about to blossom into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Brand new you coming out. You're just about to get your wings here. Tell me what is coming in in the future, please. Tell me about this journey and this magical new beginning. Scorpio becoming the alchemist of their life, please. Going on an adventure, masculine energy, independent spirit, embrace your feelings. Look below the surface, feeling deep in an emotion. Success through luck. It's okay to take a risk and keep your eye on key players. You're being asked to get into a masculine energy right now of getting out here and getting it. Take charge of your life. Take charge of a situation. You will have success through action. Sometimes people will say to me, and I hear it probably 10 times a week, is anything going to change? Is anything going to get better? And I just, the mindset of something's just suddenly going to become better or that the divine is in control of you like you're a puppet on a string is not how to think of it. You have free will. If something is going to get better, it is because you are taking action steps to make it better. If something is going to change, it is because you through intuitive hits every time when I was living wrong and a lot of you will probably get what I'm saying when I was living wrong I always knew I was living wrong and when I was doing wrong things and I was acting a fool and I wasn't living right I knew it I had a, a calling inside of me knock knock what the fuck are you doing don't do that screaming at me don't do that but I would do it anyway when we start to listen to our inner voice, we will never be led wrong. When we listen to our ego self or do things because of impulse and, and dark energy, that is when we're led wrong. Some of you are being led down a pathway to a very abundant life, but you're being asked to look below the surface now. Moving into the future, you are going to go on an adventure and you will have success if you take action to do that. But those who don't make any new moves or, or positive changes, you may just stay the same and that's okay. But if you want something to change, you have to be the change. Nothing changes until something changes, and that change has got to be you. And by doing that, you will bring in a successful outcome. You will alchemize whatever pain you're going through right now, Scorpio. How exciting is it that you are one decision away from changing your life? I think it's exciting. I think it's it's. It's so awesome to see some of you blossoming into the beautiful humans you are. I just, I find it so beautiful and you should see it the same way. Maybe you're not where you want to be right now. Well, that's okay. Look at it as a challenge. Try me. You haven't beat me down yet. You haven't won yet. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to fight. And by doing that, you are going to bring in success abundance, healing, happiness, and start to see something as a blessing and not a loss. 
<clears throat> moving over here to money. The family room, number 21. Again, some of you are trying to co-parent with somebody. You're trying to get along with somebody. And, and, and they're being very... I'm feeling very cheap with you, very stingy with you. They may not be paying child support. You may actually be in court. They may not be paying for the house anymore, the mortgage, even though their name is on it too. There's something like that that could be happening. Some of you had an apartment. Both of you were on the lease. This person bailed and left you hanging with the bag. And Scorpio, it's going to be okay, honey. It will be a blessing in disguise. There could be something coming in, somebody that owns a family business, somebody that, that is family oriented and, and it will they will be like your extended family. Some of you work for somebody or you own a business and you all are like family. Tell me about money for Scorpio, please. What is it that you want them to know about their finances, about their career? Taurus season going to be really big for you. Springtime here. Things are about to bloom. New beginnings, rebirth. The answer lies in the newness slowly over a period of time. Invest in what offers you stability. Surround yourself with positive people and be grateful for what you have. Spirit is giving you a message right now, Scorpio. You focus on what you do have. You focus on slowly making mature, responsible decisions when it comes to your money, when it comes to your career. And a new beginning or something you've been working on is about to bloom. By the end of the spring, so let's say the end of May, something is about to bloom when it comes to your finances or a project you've been working on. What is this spirit? Yeah, some of you have a lot of regret when it comes to money or you regret taking a job. You may be getting a new one. You regret leaving a job. You've been fighting about child support for some of you. Some of you have never received a dime from somebody that you have children to. That's about to change. You're about to meet someone that it will feel like a perfect partnership here. Two of Cups, a job that you love, something that equally gives to you. You will get what you give here. But slowly over a period of time, you're being asked to make more mature decisions when it comes to your money. I know as I grow and, and change and heal, uh, the, ch the choices I make now with money are completely opposite of the choices I used to make. I, I, I didn't care. I really didn't. I wasn't thinking of... In, in the way that I think now the the matter the change in your mindset is is crazy I was in a lack mindset I was always afraid I wasn't going to have enough I wasn't going to make enough I didn't have enough in the bank something was going to happen I just knew it something was going to happen what if something happens something always happened and changing my mindset about money has made such a difference Scorpio really Surrounding yourself, though, with people that are healthy and helpful, that want to see you grow, that want to see you be successful, is what you're being asked to do. Honestly, you're about to ace of cups and the three of pentacles. This is a job that you absolutely adore. A place that you will feel like is your family. People there that will just get you that you'll work very well with if you're looking for a career or a new job or something that you to believe in that is coming so some of you are working right now or you're not working some of you are unemployed right now really fearful that you're not going to find a new job but you're going to You could be wanting to leave a, a, a job, but, but you're in this mindset of you're never going to, you can't. You can't leave because you're not going to have enough money. You can't leave a lover because you can't support yourself. You can't, you can't, you can't. And you're just getting more lack back, Scorp. 
something seems to be upside down in your money right now. Five of Pentacles, you could have took a loss as well. And please, no disre... I know it's hard. I, I made many sacrifices for my children. I stayed in a relationship I shouldn't have very, too long because of money. I know how difficult it is. It is unfair. 70% of women in the United States live in poverty after a divorce. So my heart goes out to you. So if you can't change anything today, change your mindset. I will. I will find a way. Some new opportunity is going to come in for me because I'm working hard. I'm going to work hard towards my goal. And I will have something come in to for a solution when it comes to your money a water sign an earth sign could be very important to you in your money and career a taurus a sagittarius moving over here to love and i am going to cleanse the energy The overall energy in love, the official person, number 22. Some of you have been in a relationship for over 20 years with someone. Some of you have known someone for over 20 years. You've been on and off. You could be 22. You could have a 22-year-old. Um, <clears throat> patience and reaching a goal flew out the deck here before I was even able to ask anything spirit tell me what is it that you want scorpio to know about their love life right now currently present moment open yourself up to love it is safe for you to let love in and your heart to be seen don't be scared some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest and everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. Do you see? Your guides are being really clear here. If you're looking to start dating again, but you're afraid, you are being told that you can manifest a new lover, but there may be some things that need to be dealt with, some triggers that need to be dealt with right now before that happens. Others, you have been in a relationship, you have somebody you're married to or you've been in a long-term relationship with and there still needs to be some things that transpire before this relationship can become healthy or this person a reconciliation for some. You could be dating somebody that is in law enforcement. You could be dating somebody who has some kind of uh, official title they could be a ceo a a you know president of a company a in the military something like this you could meet somebody like that as well moving into the next few weeks the next 22 days tell me about what this is tell me about what scorpio why is patience needed here? What still needs to be dealt with, please? There's a destined relationship around the corner. There's somebody in your life that you have a lot of difficult differences with. You've decided that there was... You all didn't do well together. Nothing ever worked the way you wanted it to. You fought all the time. You were awakened and this person was not. Because of that, you are about to meet somebody. You are destined to meet someone here. New. That will become your official person, whether in marriage or um, life partner, living together, etc. Some of you, there's someone in your life that you've been having a lot of difficult experiences with. This was a destined connection. And there could be an achievement going after what you want, getting more of what you want out of life, deep inner knowing of a divine connection, passionate love, strong desire, a strong unbreakable bond, and you were destined to me. There seems to be some things that need to happen before this relationship can come into true union. That is the twin flame journey. 
the twin flame journey does not become about you and this person's union together until you both heal A, B, and C. If you do that, then you vibrate at the same place and true union can happen. But before that takes place, you will just continuously butt heads. You'll be on and off. One will run, one will chase, you know, this, this, and that. And that is unfortunately why a lot of twins will never come into true union because everybody does the same thing repeatedly and learning no, no lessons. And so then there can't be a completion some of you have had something to celebrate as of recently. You are feeling really happy about your life. You're feeling very happy on your own. But there is a new relationship getting ready to manifest in for you because you are reaching your goals, because you are raising your vibration, learning your spiritual lessons, not repeating cycles. Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind, please. Y'all mirror one another. This is what I mean. That's the message I was getting. There's something that you both need to heal. A great source of reflection for growth. They show you your deepest fears, insecurity, and shadow aspects. And you show them theirs. But if no one heals them, if no one deals with them, and you continue to trigger one another, true union can't take place. You'll just, you'll get back together and it will fall apart. You'll get back together and it will fall apart because everybody's working under um, these conditions of fear, insecurity. Your twin can make you feel so rejected by the, the smallest thing. Um, I, you know, I know for me what I experienced and what I have studied, my belief, it is very, when, when you, the smallest thing can feel really, um, like can trigger your insecurities or you can feel rejection even when they're not really trying to, but you're so sensitive and, overwhelmed with emotion when you're dealing with your real twin flame. There seems to be some things about to happen that are impossible to avoid. A big impact on their future questions in their belief system and important life-altering events uh, is about to happen for the person on your mind. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew. I can't explain how I felt, but I knew I was meant to find you. They seem to understand here, Scorpio, new beginnings and alignment, taking action. You're taking action to manifest your destiny. This person is the creator of their own, um, you know, universe as well. They could be trying to raise their vibration a bit. They could be doing shadow work. They could be actually trying here to manifest a goal in their personal life. Tell me about them, please. Tell me about this person. What have they been up to? How are they feeling? This person's on the, the outcome is unknown. They're trying to find inner peace. They're working on inner peace. There's some unexpected encounter. There's something unexpected about to happen. You could run into this person somewhere, Scorpio. If you haven't seen them in a while, you all could be face to face walking down the street in a club, something. There may be an unexpected encounter here. There's intense emotion. They feel a lot of unity, a lot of wholeness when they're with you. They feel very whole. Some of you, this is a situation where you both have healed. You both have learned your spiritual lessons. There's been some difficult experiences, but you're about to actually reach your goal. 
this person has, has done a lot of changing, a lot of growing. It does not happen within a week. This, this kind of um, situation takes a very long time. Some of you, it's been a long time since you've seen this person and things are about to manifest. They've been actually putting in some energy and effort here to listen to their inner calling, to change, to sit down, to look at their triggers. There's a change on the horizon. There's been a lot of ups and downs. Be ready for news. Be ready for news about this person. This is somebody who could have started dating again. It may have been a long time since you've seen them. You both could match on a dating site, not realizing the other one's on there. You have a common life path. They have pure intentions. They're very curious about you. And uh, anything could happen right now. This person has free will to do whatever they please. But this is looking very good. Whoever I am channeling right now, this, this person has really came to a place inside their heart and mind that they're sure of what they want. They no longer want to run. Tell me about their pure intentions here, please. They're really curious about what you've been doing. If it's been a while since you've talked to them or if you're in limited contact, this person is very curious. They want to ask you something, Scorpio, but they've been afraid to. Do I have my deck upside down? No. <clears throat> this person's stuck in the past. They have a lot of regret. They haven't let go. They... they they're healing five of cups in reverse there's hope there's forgiveness and this fell out the deck the devil there must have been some cheating or an addiction they could have been battling alcoholism drug addiction sex addiction there's something that they're trying to change they could almost be obsessing over you, thinking of you a lot. If it's if it's been a while since you've seen this person and suddenly you've been thinking about them a lot or you, you have a feeling that, that something's about to happen, it's because it is. There's something here. This person's been wanting to say to you or ask you, Scorp. They feel defeated. They feel disappointed. They feel like a failure. They've been dealing with trauma, grief, depression. They could have lost somebody. They could have lost someone close to them, Scorpio, that they never healed from. They could have had an absent father, I'm hearing. And it really affected their behavior. They seem to be trying to heal from this. They've been really grieving. This is someone who has finally stopped running from their emotions, finally stopped running, but they're still approaching in a Knight of Wands energy. They're trying to get their confidence up, though. They've been in this hangman. They feel they need to sacrifice. They've took a pause. They have a new perspective. They have a new perspective about life, a new perspective about love, and a new perspective about y'all's relationship. Tell me what change, change is over the horizon, please. Be ready for news is, some of you could have a boy and a girl to this person. Something that's going to make you really happy, Scorpio. Nine of Cups energy here. Luck, teamwork. Seems to be some some change in the over the horizon. This person wants to work with you. They wanna they wanna cooperate in some way. They wanna 
have a new beginning. They're, they're, they're getting in alignment. If they're not quite in alignment yet, they're going to be here. Um, some of you, it may take another three months. Some of you, it may be very, very soon. They seem to, what is this in, fateful encounter? There's some encounter coming orchestrated by the divine. Some kind of encounter. That's going to bring a dour moment. They want resolution. Five of wands in reverse. Wow. Nine of wands in reverse. Recovery. No fight left. Retreated. They don't have the fight left in them anymore. Four of swords. My goodness. I don't know who I'm channeling, but this is somebody who has done a lot of healing. This person could have actually went to recovery. They could be in therapy. They could have had PTSD or something from the military. This person... It will be sudden and out of the blue. They still are um, a little confused and a little nervous. They don't know if you are, they're really curious about if you're even interested in them anymore or if they have um, really fucked all the way up. They can't quite decide. They're trying to figure something out. They're trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure out, are you with somebody? Are you dating? Are you open? Are you ready? Do you want to even talk to them? There looks like there, there was cheating or a lot of hurt. What do they have to say? Yeah, I'm awakening. I now know more than I'm letting on. They are definitely going through an awakening. There's something they haven't been telling you. I need to be strong in who I am before we can merge in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. You are in old patterns, but you can't see it. The mirror again. You all were mirroring something. You were in an old pattern of on and off, back and forth, triggering trust, insecurity, and fear. And this is somebody who who has pulled away from you and they have actually been working on becoming their best self or going through an awakening. They've went through a dark night of the soul. You put them into a dark night of the soul. And at this point, they're afraid that they could lose their self in this relationship because they have just healed or they have been through so much. But there is change on the horizon Scorpio an unexpected encounter here and it will be up to you spirit saying wait it's not quite yet there's some something patience will be needed before you all can actually come into true union but it's it's taking place present energy they seem to be having going through a dark night of the soul it's just not going to manifest in spirit saying that's a yes you're being asked here to look for a sign keep going choose a direction here you keep moving forward you keep healing you keep growing don't stop don't wait for this person. You keep going down your, your path of self-discovery. The more you do that, the more you send them healing energy. And you all can actually come into a beautiful union. It's just not quite ready yet. I, a Taurus season, big for Scorpios. So Taurus season, this person... They may reach out with the truth. They may be very different. You will know energy doesn't lie. This is someone who you may not even recognize. They've went through so much change. I believe in redemption. This person could be jogging. They could be working out. Somebody here could have dark hair in a low bun right now. Somebody here could have really blue eyes. They could. TW could mean something to you. I wish you the very best. This person could be a fire sign, another Scorpio, air, earth, I guess everybody. Moving over to those Scorpios looking for a new love, number nine, change. 
Changes a coming, Scorp, Scorp. Changes a blowing in, baby. Tell me about new love for Scorpio. Those that are looking for new love, ready to put this behind them. Good with, with, you know, you're not, you just want whatever's best for your highest good. That's what you're looking to do. Um, tell me about this engagement your love life is soon to ascend to a higher level of commitment you have known this person before it is a soulmate from a past life a past life soulmate you are stronger when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger being asked to release that last little bit that last bit of anger you could be walking around still a bit angry because of what another lover did. Don't take that out on a new lover or starve yourself of love, Scorpio, because of what someone else did. Does that make sense? Don't walk around angry and bitter, honey. That's not a good look on anybody. Tell me about new love for Scorpio. past life relationship this person's coming in scorpio very loving very caring um you're gonna make a judgment call about this person immediately within nine weeks i guarantee you uh, of meeting this person you all are gonna be in a serious relationship you seem to have a lot going on you're a little overwhelmed and you're you're not sleeping quite well but this person coming in is very caring very compassionate very friendly very attractive they could be another scorpio they could be a sagittarius they seem to um have possibly been through something themselves but there will be past life recognition this is a past life soulmate this is somebody that your soul definitely, Ace of Cups, beautiful, will, will recognize, Scorpio. You're going to recognize this person. You, you seem to be um, going through an emotional awakening, your heart opening again. You're going to meet this person and know immediately when, what time frame can we tell, Scorpio? This person could be an earth sign, business oriented, very grounded, very generous. I feel it somewhere by the end of May. That's just me. This person could be a Capricorn. It's happening right now. And uh, Gemini season, as I said, May 21st to June 21st. But they could be a Gemini. They could be a Libra happening right now. But as I said, the full moon that, that we're having tonight, this, this eclipse is the end of energy from libra season in 2023 my guides are really giving me a message you're closing out a karmic cycle or a chain of events that started after october of 2023 scorpio and you're moving into a new one um it's this is the countdown baby it's the final countdown I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day ever. It's going to be the best day of our life, Scorpio. It's the best damn day of my life. I have everything because I am everything. Love and light.